If you or a loved one have been diagnosed with a cerebral aneurysm, I want to talk a little bit about what we are looking for to determine if the aneurysm is likely to rupture or what risk factors are there for aneurysm rupture. Aneurysms are little blisters off the blood vessels in the brain and can present or cause bleeding in the brain, a specific type of bleeding called subarachnoid hemorrhage. The bleeding is life-threatening and is a significant problem. If you or a loved one have been diagnosed with a cerebral aneurysm, I want to talk about some of the risk factors that we look at when determining the likelihood that the aneurysm will rupture in the future. Three of those factors are factors you can control. The other factors are factors that you really can't control. The three things that have been shown in the literature that you have control over are one, arterial hypertension or high blood pressure, two, smoking, and three, heavy alcohol consumption. Those three things have been shown to increase the likelihood that an aneurysm bleeds. There are some other things about you as a patient or your loved one that are factors that can cause uh, increased risk for aneurysm rupture. One is a family history. If you or a loved one have an aneurysm and another family member has had an aneurysm rupture, the likelihood that your aneurysm would rupture is higher. If, if you have multiple aneurysms and then the risk is a little bit higher in women, there's some ethnicities that are also higher. Next, let's talk a little bit about aneurysm characteristics. One is the size, which is probably the most important one. S larger aneurysms are more likely to rupture. A typical cutoff where it becomes more likely versus less likely is about seven millimeters. Location. Aneurysms in certain locations have a higher risk of rupture, especially in an area called the posterior circulation, which is in the back part of the brain. The aneurysm shape, we'll look at if the aneurysm has a little bleb or a little daughter sac is what it's called off of it. That would be an indication of more likely to rupture. Has the aneurysm grown over time? Or is there evidence for inflammation of the aneurysm? This is an important discussion to have with patients, this likelihood of aneurysm rupture. Lots of people have cerebral aneurysms, but not all of them should be treated because there's a risk of treatment. And we need to compare the risk of treatment with the risk of rupture and make a decision as to how to proceed.